Hi guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. My name is Sarah. If you are looking for home style recipes made ketogenic, then you have come to the right channel. And tonight we're going to be making something very home style. This was actually a recipe that CJ made over seven years ago. And I'm going to be redoing it and bringing it to you because apparently a lot of people are looking for cheeseburger style casseroles. So this is going to be beefy bacon shepherd's pie. So come along with me and let's get started. Talk about what you're going to need to make this. You are going to need your oven set to 350 degrees. Mm -hmm. You're going to need two pounds of ground beef. Mine has already been cooked and I seasoned it with salt and pepper and a little bit of dried minced onion. You could use any kind of ground meat if you like lamb. That would be great here too. You're going to need a pie dish. I'm making shepherd's pie, so I'm going to put it in a pie dish or some kind of comparable size, a nine or eight inch uh, baking dish of some kind. Because I'm calling this beefy bacon shepherd's pie, you're going to need some bacon. I have five strips of bacon here already cooked that I've chopped up. To make our bechamel cheese sauce, you're going to need two cups of heavy cream, cheese, of course, and then you're also going to need three tablespoons of butter and I've already got this on a low temperature and I'm letting it melt because we're going to make our cheese sauce in a saucepan so you're going to need a saucepan to do that. I'm going to be adding a little bit of sugar-free ketchup and also some Worcestershire sauce to my ground meat mixture. You are going to need some mashed cauliflower with about three tablespoons of butter and I rolled it up until it was the consistency of mashed potatoes and we're going to put this on the top. You're also going to need a little bit more cheese to garnish in between our layers and I will show you and you can use any kind of cheese that you like. I am using sharp because that's what I want to make my cheese sauce out of. So the first thing that we are going to do is make our cheese sauce. I'm going to add my two cups of heavy cream into my already melting three tablespoons of butter. We're just going to let this warm up to a simmer and that's going to take a few minutes. I'm going to keep our sauce very simple and I'm just going to put a little bit of salt and pepper in it. So while we are waiting for our heavy cream to come to temperature, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of ketchup and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce to my ground beef. And I just want a couple of squirts. And likewise with the Worcestershire sauce. And I'm just gonna give that a good stir. That's just going to give our meat that really nice cheeseburgery flavor. And after we are done doing that, I'm going to go ahead and throw the chopped bacon in there and let everything kind of incorporate into the meat. Okay, so we are gonna put our chopped bacon in there. And once again, that is about five ounces or five slices. cream and our butter are starting to get hot and you can see steam rising off. So I'm going to go ahead and add our cheese. So this is about six ounces or so of shredded cheese and I'm using sharp. I'm just going to start whisking that around and waiting for it to melt and thicken. Yes, it's just 
going to thicken up a little bit. Okay. I'll just ask one. Yep. <clears throat> okay, it's starting to bubble, and I turned the heat off, and it's just getting thick. And now it's just waiting for us to assemble our shepherd's pie. Start on your face, though. I'd like to see your face for some reason. I know after all these years, it's not a big deal to you. going to go ahead and start assembling our pie into our pie dish. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of our ground meat mixture in the bottom. If you wanted to add additional vegetables to this, you could. Although, you know, we have our cauliflower, which is the main vegetable that is going to make the top. Okay, then we're going to add our delicious with three tablespoons of butter. And I just kept blending it until it got thick. And I put it in the refrigerator so it would stay thick and not get watery. Now, I did mine with just regular frozen cauliflower, but they do make a lot of seasoned frozen cauliflower mash now, if you find that easier. going to try and spread that over our pie as evenly as possible. And it doesn't have to be super pretty because I'm going to sprinkle it with what's left of our cheese. More cheese on top. Now, now I'm going to put mine on a cookie sheet underneath it, just in case it bubbles over. Okay, so this is going to go into our 350 degree oven. I'm gonna be cooking it for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes around in there. Remember, everything that is going on to our shepherd's pie has already been cooked. So this is basically just warming it through. And then at the end, I'm also probably going to broil for about a minute or so because I like the top of my cauliflower mash to be slightly golden like a traditional shepherd's pie. I am going to put my pie dish on a baking tree with some foil just in case we have any bubble over because that's possible definitely because I did fill my pie dish quite full. So you might want to do something similar to yours just in case um, it starts to bubble over a bit. my Christmas hot pads. I think I need to change. It's not Christmas anymore. Okay, there it is. I can see that it's starting to bubble over just a little bit, so I'm glad I put the, break, the baking tray down. So I did get a little bit of broiling on the top, so it looks nice and golden. And I'm going to get it out, and of course this is like the surface of the sun, so you're definitely going to need to let it sit for a little bit before you dig in. <clears throat> All right, here it is, our delicious beefy bacon shepherd's pie. And here we have our taste tester. Hi. Hi. All right, uh, I swear I don't remember the whole story behind this pie. I showed you the footage. I know the footage. <laughs> You recognize uh, yourself? Yeah, I recognize the guy. Many years ago. He was a pretty handsome fellow. 
I agree. That's hot. Yes. I would not know that these aren't mashed potatoes. I really wouldn't. Awesome. Um, they don't taste like cauliflower. So it's good, baby. It's a nice flavor. Uh, this actually sat overnight before we cut into it. So uh, the flavors probably have melded together a little bit more too. So good, and I think people like it. Kind of that cheeseburger casserole thing people have been searching for. Yes. Here you go. All right, awesome. Bye-bye.